Getty ever since ABC announced that they were going to do a Roseanne spin-off entitled The Connors. Following the controversial cancellation of the reboot, fans of the family have been speculating about how the new sitcom will write the TV mom out of the script. Advertisement, continue reading below according to Roseanne Barr herself, the showrunners have chosen to draw from a past storyline from season one of the revival. As you might recall, Roseanne, the character, had a bad knee, and in one emotional scene, admits to being addicted to painkillers and stashing pills around the house. According to the former star of the show, the writers decided to take this revelation one step further, they have her die of an opioid overdose. I wanted to show opioid struggle in the show, but I was never going to have Roseanne die of an opioid overdose, she revealed on Brandon Straka's YouTube show. It's so cynical and horrible, she explained. She should have died as a hero or not at all. It wasn't enough to fire me. They had to so cruelly insult the people who loved that family and that show. After the interview aired, ABC never officially confirmed whether or not what Roseanne said was true. John Goodman, however, seemed to confirm that his on-screen wife was, indeed, killed off. In an interview with the Times of London, the actor said at the time that he believed his character would be mopey and sad because his wife's dead, despite a rather somber storyline. John told Good Morning America that he hopes fans of Roseanne will enjoy the new series and says the cast is thankful for the opportunity to do it all. Again, advertisement, continue reading below, just give it a shot, see what you think. He said, I think you'll find that we're still trying to tell the same, honest. Stories, The Connors airs Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on ABC.